Welcome to our pipes tutorial. Today, we're exploring a fascinating example involving List T in Haskell. One of our viewers is trying to understand how input is handled in this example, and they have some intriguing questions about it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. Let's break down the list T example from the pipes tutorial. First, we have a producer that reads input from the standard input until the user types quit. In the list T definition, we use select to bind first name and last name. This means that the first input will be assigned to first name and the second input will be assigned to last name. When you run the example, the first name you input is bound to first name. This is why it doesn't change with subsequent inputs. The second input will change last name instead. Entering quit allows you to rebind first name. This means you can input a new first name, but last name will still hold the previous value until you provide a new one. Finally, entering quit twice will terminate the program. The first quit allows rebinding, while the second one exits the loop. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To enhance the name prompting behavior, you can utilize the monad zip instance of list T. This allows you to alternate between asking for first and last names. You can define the name function using mzip to combine inputs for first and last names, resulting in a single string output. Additionally, you can use monad comprehensions and parallel list comp extensions for a more concise syntax, allowing for cleaner code. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.